Well, hello, this is Julio and welcome back. Today we're going to start a new series uh, explaining about t-tests. So we're going to be explaining the one sample t-test, the independent sample t-test and the paired sample t-test. These last two belong as well to the comparisons between groups category. So you will be able to find them in both categories in both uh, our YouTube channel and the blog. Now, as you can see here, I have uh, translated the data set in the video about outliers. I used the German uh, data set. So now everything is in English. You, you will be able to download it in the blog. Uh, let's start by talking about the one sample T test. To perform it, you just have to come to analyze as with any uh, analysis you want, want to perform, go to compare means and you have these options. So just click on one sample t test. Let me right click here and click on display variable names. So we have the shorter names here, the ones that we created in the name column. So in this case, we want to perform the one sample t test on the age variable. So we just select it, click here, and you have the test variables here. The one sample t test compares the mean score of a sample to a known value. Usually this value is the population mean. In most cases, this value comes from theory, or in some cases, the value can also come from previous data or the value could have been determined in a previous study. So we want to test this value by entering it here. So for this example, say that uh, in a previous study, we found that the mean, the, the mean age of our sample was uh, 27. So we enter this value here. We are going to compare this variable from our data set to this value, this known value that in, again in this example is 27. Now, in the options um, window, we will leave everything as, uh, as default, the confidence interval percentage in 95 and bootstrap everything as it is. Once again, uh, remember to click on paste so the syntax window pops up and you are able to see the, the syntax behind the action you want to perform. Select it, click on run, and here you have the results. So now we can see here the one sample statistics are referring to the information from our data set. We can see that we had a total of uh, 1,172 participants and the mean age of this sample is 26.6. Standard deviation 11 and we have the standard, standard error mean. Now in this table, the one sample t-test, we are able to see the significance of our results. Now the term significance level refers to the likelihood that the random sample we have chosen is or isn't representative of the population. It's important that you know the lower the significance level, level the more confident we are that, uh, we are that we will be able to replicate our results. We are really interested now in the in this part, the significance two-tailed, and we can see here we have a value of 0.291. This is way above 0 0.05. So this p-value indicates that uh, the average age of the sampled population is statistically non significantly differently from 27 27 was so you remember the value we enter for the test value we were comparing 
put this value against the mean of our uh, actual sample. So now with this information you are able to either accept or reject your null hypothesis or alternative hypothesis. I'm not going to talk about it now. This video was just intended for you to see how to perform the one sample t-test. I will include uh, one or two links in the blog so you can read more about the steps before actually coming to SPSS and perform the test. So how you state your null in uh, alternative hypothesis and so on and so forth. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.